Effective nuclear charge is both a simple topic and a complex one. It explains the chemical properties of the elements and will later be crucial to understanding organic chemistry. Valence electrons live in the outermost energy levels of the atom. Valence electrons feel an attraction to the positive charge of the nucleus, but they are also repelled by other electrons closer to the nucleus in the same way that a lampshade might diminish the light cast from a light bulb. We know that opposite charges attract, which explains why electrons and protons form atoms. Larger charges form stronger attractions. But if we put a small negative charge right next to this large positive charge, the attraction between the original charges is less than it was before. In other words, the small negative charge shields or screens the central positive charge. We would say that the effective charge of this system is only two plus. This process affects the chemistry of the elements as we shall see with lithium. Lithium has the atomic number three, meaning it has three protons in its nucleus. Lithium also has three electrons in orbitals around the nucleus. We will see that each electron feels a different effective nuclear charge, abbreviated Z sub F. The first electron is right up next to the protons in the nucleus and feels the full force of the nucleus's three plus charge. In other words, it feels an effective nuclear charge of around three. The second electron of lithium is attracted by the three protons but it is also repelled by the one closer electron. This electron feels an effective nuclear charge of two. The third electron is also attracted by the three protons in the nucleus, but it is repelled by both inner electrons. This third electron feels an effective nuclear charge of only one. In other words, the outer electron is the least attracted to the nucleus. We say that the inner electrons shield or screen the charge from the nucleus. The effective nuclear charge felt by an electron can be approximated by subtracting the number of screening electrons from the atomic number Z. Effective nuclear charge dictates how hard it is to remove an electron and is very important for further understanding of chemistry. For this class, you will need to know that effective nuclear charge felt by the valence electrons increases as we go from left to right across the periodic table. I will demonstrate this with three examples from the second row of the table. We've already looked at lithium, whose outer electron feels an effective nuclear charge of one. If we move right three spaces, we encounter carbon, which has four valence electrons divided amongst its 2s and 2p orbitals. While carbon has twice as many protons in the nucleus as lithium does, these valence electrons are still only shielded by two inner electrons. So carbon's valence electrons feel an effective nuclear charge of around four. Moving to the far right of the table, neon has 10 protons in its nucleus and still only two inner electrons shielding the outer energy levels. The valence electrons of neon feel an enormous effective nuclear charge of around eight. The noble gases have the highest effective nuclear charges, meaning it is very hard to remove electrons from a noble gas, which explains their chemical stability. Of course, everything I just taught you was a lie because it's way more complicated than this. However, this simple equation is a great start for understanding why some elements lose electrons very easily and some elements do not lose electrons. 